NC State is being forced into a little bit of quarterback shuffle of their own. Grayson McCall, who they brought in, big name transfer out of the uh, Coastal Carolina, I would say underwhelmed through two and a half games and then got hurt. C.J. Bailey, a uh, true freshman incoming this offseason uh, from Florida, 6'6", uh, very, I would say, tantalizing skill set, but you probably wanted to keep him marinating for another another year before you turned over the reins. Uh, he's put into to duty. He leads a comeback uh, against Louisiana Tech this past weekend, and now he's going to start make his first career start on the road against Clemson this Saturday. We still don't have a ton of information on the uh, Grayson McCall injury other than he's day-to-day and he won't be starting against Clemson. What do you do moving forward? We know what's happening this weekend. C.J. Bailey starting against Clemson. What do you do moving forward after that Clemson game? And this is this is what I mean when I say you can learn from other teams that are also going through their own quarterback shuffle. You know what Dave Canales wasn't prepared for in his press conference after game two? Bryce Young to be that bad through games one and game two. So he, he said what he planned to say. Bryce Young is our quarterback. No matter what, that's our guy and the team's behind him. And then the next day he said, never mind, he's benched. Because his plan was, you know, eh, maybe Bryce wasn't that bad. He wouldn't be that bad. He couldn't be that bad. So let me ask you this, Dave Doran. You're going to get those – those. I guarantee you, you're going to get those same questions after Clemson. Who's your quarterback next week? Is Grayson McCall's job safe? Is C.J. Bailey uh, going to keep the job? You better have an answer. And here's the thing. Have an answer for every situation. What if C.J. Bailey goes out there, throws for 320, and you win? Have an answer for that. What if he goes out there and he throws for 74 yards, three picks, fumbles twice? Have an answer for that. Learn from Dave Canales and 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 play out these hypotheticals. If C.J. Bailey, and I say this like metaphorically, but hey, crazier things have happened. If he doesn't wet his pants against Clemson, it'll be very hard for him to come off the field. It'll be very hard to convince a fan or to convince someone on that team why he should not be on the field because the situation he's being put in is darn near impossible. And if he comes out on the other side smelling of anything but but absolute like uh, like burning rubber from Clemson running all over him, that's an accomplishment. Comes down to three things for me. You know I'm a fan of lists. One, part of it is is keeping guys going into next year. <laughs> I hate that that's the case, but part of it is it. It's reality. And and if C.J. Bailey goes out there and looks good, someone you can build around, he has eligibility. Grayson McCall does not. And when you're looking to keep Casey Concepcion, who can go play for whoever he wants in the portal, yep. if he chooses that. Uh, when you want to keep Noah Rogers, who he's like – 10 big throws away from being able to play anywhere he wants in the transfer portal. If you want to keep Justin Jolie, who I think can play anywhere from the portal if he wants, you better have somebody to to build around. Part of it is this. CJ Bailey can provide some hope. I always say like it's it's the, the athlete's mind, the fan's mind, it's hard to predict, but what I do know is they like to latch on to things. Yeah, we didn't look great against Tennessee. Yeah, we didn't look great against Louisiana Tech, but that was before C.J. Bailey took over. Even Whether it's Grayson McCall's fault or not, that gives you something to to tangibly grab onto. Last part of it is McCall is supposed to be the veteran with polish and high floor, right? He's supposed to be the one that's fully formed, ready-made, just add water, throw him in the microwave, complete meal. That's what Grayson McCall was supposed to be. If C.J. Bailey can protect the football in an extremely adverse situation, in an extremely difficult situation, why do you go with the old guy if the young guy can do it too? You don't want to ruin C.J. Bailey's confidence if he struggles too much. But I said this yesterday. He started his his, uh, game against Louisiana Tech, which he knew he had to lead a comeback. Uh, He started that game one for three with a pick and then went seven straight completions. So don't count him out immediately. The, I don't know if it's good news or bad news for NC State, but the, the the way it's set up is you get a free, very difficult situation look 
at C.J. Bailey before you have to decide who your quarterback is. Right? If Grayson McCall is back the next week, that's when you have to make that decision. You don't have to make any decisions until Grayson McCall is back and healthy and cleared. Up until that point, it's made for you. Your hands are tied. Bailey's your quarterback. Maybe Lex Thomas, if if something else goes crazy, who's, who's your third stringer. But be prepared. I like if if you listen to this show, you know I'm big on like saying what you want ahead of time. We did this with Bryce Young a lot. If you're gonna be really mad about Bryce Young, well give me the give me the parameters. Right? If you're somebody that's like, hey, as long as he completes 60% of his passes and doesn't turn the ball over, things are pretty good. Well, then if he completes 60% of his passes, doesn't turn the ball over, but you get beat by 30, I'm looking at you going, no, before the game, you said as long as he did that, things would be good. What does C.J. Bailey have to do to keep the job? Say it now in your brain. You don't have to say it publicly. But if you're the coaches, say it now, right, so you know. So it's a yes or no situation. Obviously, you can always go change with more information, but keep it in mind. Don't uh, don't think you're going to fly by the seat of your pants. I think occasionally that's what new coaches do. Dave Dorn, not a new coach. Dave Canales, definitely a new coach.